How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play East Chronicles Plus East Book One. So, I did take a little bit of time in the interim between videos to do a small bit of grinding that I needed to do to prep myself for this first boss. We have purchased, and I'm now equipping, the Middle Shield which boosts our defense another 10 points. We are also now level 5. So we've gotten a little stronger. And with that, it is time for us to encounter the first boss of the game and the epic boss music for the first time. Use the shrine key to unlock the door. Let's do this. Okay, maybe going up to level 5 was a bad idea. <laughs> I did not expect to, you know, knock half of his health off in one hit. Obviously, the trick here is to wait for him to come to the middle, and then rush in and hit them while hit him while trying to avoid the full gas. And with that, the first boss falls. Quite easily, mainly because I'm way overpowered. And with him defeated, we can enter the depths of the shrine. Locked, but does not appear empty. Now we'll have to look for the key. Chest is Prison key has been obtained. Uh oh, that's an ambush. Let's explore down here a little bit more before we go up to the prison. Another chest up here we can attempt to get. That one's locked. Treasure box key has been obtained. That's the other item I was looking for. Now that path leads down to the third basement, but we obviously don't want to go there just yet. And there's the silver bell. Well, the silver bell is super important to the people of Zephic. So we are going to just grab this other chest up here. That's when I was over here. The other chest was on the top floor. Or was it over here? Top floor. There's level 
level 6. Now before we get done, I'll open up the prison cells. We're going to come down here and get this chest. The necklace is pretty much a money item. Who's this? Who are you? The doll introduced himself and explained his reason for coming to the shrine. My name is Fina. It feels like I've been locked up down here for my entire life. I remember it was a man in a black cape who put me here. He is a terrible man who seems to control the very movements of the monsters. It's dangerous here. You should forget about me. Please, hurry. Get away from here while you can. You, you're going to help me? You're saying I can leave this place? Adal, thank you so very much. And let's grab the Mask of Eyes, which will be very important later. That man in the black cape put that mask in here with me. Perhaps it could be of some use to you. We don't want to get too far away. Now it is possible if you come here properly equipped, and it's also an achievement, <coughs> to, whoa, to level up Tina. That's not what we're here for. We are here to get her out of here. Just let her recover the little bit of health she lost. Epic Village. into unconsciousness. The doll felt her forehead and confirmed that she had a fever. Luckily, Jebba's house was very close. Oop, sorry about that. The doll gently lifted Fina over his shoulder and promptly carried her to Jebba's. She's sleeping well. The medicine should help. Add a good night's rest and she should be fine by morning. Still, no matter how you look at it, it's a very strange story. The 
the sacred inner sanctum sealed under the shrine for so long, becoming home to monsters, and a girl imprisoned there, no less. So much of this simply doesn't add up. The medicine seemed to have kicked in. Fino's breathing was steady, and her fever had subsided. Now we will go see the mayor. Oh my! It's the silver bell! Was it the thieves? Were they the ones you retrieved it from? What's that? The thieves didn't have it. It was beneath the old shrine. I'm... confused. Why in the world would it have been there? Well, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is, it's been returned. We're safe again. Thank you so much, adventurer. As a token of my appreciation, I give you this ring. Wear it well. It's a family heirloom with mystical properties. I believe it will prove very useful to you. Now, before we go in... You might remember a young lady talking about how her husband, Luta, was missing. Well, it's time for us to search for There's also a chest we can now obtain, but we'll get that a little later. No, we need to go this way. Going completely the wrong way, because I'm sick. Heading for the road of three. Here it is. Now somewhere around here. He's down here. There it is, the piece of paper was the chest. April with several lines of unreadable language on. I don't know why it clips the ruby, it's not like it does anything. side quest we're doing is actually very easy to skip over.
There we go. We have to go see the doctor. Of course. He's not. Oh, that's right. That sword. Fair enough. You want to see Asteria with your own eyes, do you? If you're that determined, I don't plan to stop you. But please, be careful. First the storm wall, then the monsters. What's next, a plague of locusts? Yet you're still with us. Seems like the hand of fate is guiding you. Fools rush in, though. Best chat with the townsfolk. You might learn something valuable. You're looking healthy. How are you holding up? Okay, so since I had not talked to him upon receiving the sword, the thing hasn't triggered. So I have to leave. Kill a couple things outside really quick. Not that they give me anything, but okay. That should be enough. Now if I've done this right... There he is. Are you sure about this? If they're available, the militia will gladly escort you back to Zepic Village. No need to worry. It can make it back on my own. First and foremost, I need to go and comfort my wife. All right, then. I won't argue. I just wish I could be of more assistance. I'm afraid I simply have no treatment for chronic sleepwalking. Think nothing of it. I appreciate everything you've done, Dr. Pluto. Well, then, if you'll excuse me. Oh my, pardon me. Well, we found him. Hello, Adol, how is everything? What, that fellow just now? That was Luda from Sepik Village. He comes around often-ish, mostly at random. He's a chronic sleepwalker. One of the militia members found him staggering about in the plains nearby. He's such a young fellow, yet he's already taken a wife. It's hard to believe. With him disappearing all the time, though, she must be a nervous wreck. I hope it makes it back home safe and sound. Ah, you're going out again? Take care of yourself, Adal. Now, also, while we're here, I believe we've met the conditions for one other thing. Let's go see Stahl again. Well, now, if it isn't Adal. So what's the story? Learn anything out there? What's wrong? You look positively drained. Did something happen to you? Adal told Slaff about the monsters he'd been fighting and the events leading up to those battles. Wow, it's like some kind of fairy tale. First the storm wall, now this? Are we in a magical fantasy land built for someone's amusement? <laughs> Fourth wall broken. Eh, either way, you've got a heaping plate of destiny on your plate, Adal. Eat up, I say. Actually, will you follow me for a moment? Here, take this sword with you. A Talwar has been obtained. That sword goes for about 5,000 or 7,000 gold if you buy one. I found it while patrolling at the Whitehorn Beach six months ago. Probably from a trade ship capsized by the storm wall, which means they won't miss it, so don't feel bad. I think it came from one of the countries in the east. The curved blade gives it a distinctive feel. I think you'll make good use of it. Hope it comes in handy fighting all those monsters. Ha! It's weird, you know. Seeing that determined look in your eyes, I almost want to go with you. Ah, well. I'll see you later, man. If you need anything else, don't you hesitate to swing by. So, let's equip our new sword. Another ten points of attack. We have obtained our free towel. Walk. Wow, 
Why would you do that? Now then, we're gonna make a quick swing by Mine. We're actually, let me double check something. I can't remember if this happens down here or in the lane. Swing in and say hello to Sarah. How fare thee, swordsman? Have you found any of the books of Ys? What's that? A girl imprisoned beneath the mountain shrine? It can't be. Swordsman, our time grows short. Please find the book of Book of Ys locked within that shrine. I'll explain more afterwards. Okay, so... As you might have guessed, Ludogamma does come into some uh, circumstances trying to get home. So let's find him. I cannot remember exactly where he is. I just remember that he's pinned up against a cliff somewhere. I doubt it's up here, because this is the actual path.
another big tree. Maybe down in this little area. Here I'm getting attacked. We're in the right place. So much. I don't know who you are, but you really did save my life. Ah, wait a minute. I believe I saw you at the Barbado Clinic, did I not? Please, pardon my awful manners. My name is Luda, Luda Gemma, from Zepic Village. It all gave his name and explained that Luda's wife was quite concerned about me. <clears throat> I see. So I've made her worry again. Damn, I sound sleepy. Why does nothing wake me when I sleepwalk? I've had this problem for six months, ever since the storm wall appeared. And look at that. Once again, I've wound up in the middle of nowhere trying to get back home. Which way is Epic Village? Or would you be able to escort me there, perchance? And all agreed to escort Luna Gemma back to Epic Village. Oh, my dearest Luda. I'm so sorry for causing such a fuss. I thought for sure the monsters had eaten your face off. I was so very worried. Your imagination runs wild, my dear. Almost scarily so. But I'm alright. This is a doll. He rescued me from the brink of certain demise. Did he now? Thank you, lad. How can I ever repay you for what you've done? Adal, if you'll please excuse us, we have some business to attend to. I am in your debt, my friend. A thousand thanks for saving my life. Okay, so now that that's done, I should have done this when I was there earlier, but we need to head back to Manila. This time I am not going to screw this up. Nice. 
Yep, he's getting fear stated. Ooh, you drive a hard bargain, good sir. I'll buy it for 1320 gold. Now I'll sell it to you. Oh ho, thank you. This is not a high-end necklace. It's cheap and damaged to boot. Still not saying I won't buy it. And from here on, he will give me the better price all the time. So... Now that we have 5,000 gold... We're going to head to the armory and upgrade our armor. And we will buy the reflex. The reflex armor is the crowning jewel of my inventory. It's a light leather armor treated with resin. It's 5,000 gold, nothing less. Thank you. Use it well. And we will equip that for another boost of 10 points of defense. And we will go ahead and equip the power ring. And with that, we are going to go ahead and end this episode here. I want to thank everybody for watching. And next episode, we will return to the Solomon Shrine and Plummet's Depths for the first Book of East. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. Throw any feedback you might have into the comments, because I always love hearing from you. And we'll see you next time in the Land of Hysteria in East Book.